Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Clicks. How are you? We're gonna have some fun tonight. My husband just went to bed, but it's still kind of early so I can talk. Um, before I get started, I do need to give some shout outs to some people, so let me do that real quick. For those um, who have sponsored my channel over the last couple weeks, I need to thank Mary P, Becky H, Barbara B, Shelly G, and it's either Marette G or Marite G. I hope I'm, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I didn't know which way you pronounced it. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Um, I took the donations and I bought a little gadget that we're gonna use tonight. So, a uh, couple of announcements. One is I'm gonna do a live pour on Sunday, February 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the East Coast. Um, I don't really care who wins the Super Bowl this year. My team's not in it, so I think I'm gonna root for the Chiefs. Flip a coin. I'm in it for the commercials. But I thought it'd be fun, you know, if you're not into football at all, or even if you are, we'll do it at 5. I think the game starts at 6.30. Um, we'll be done before then, but we could goof it off and, uh, chat and do a little pour and have some fun so um mark your calendars for sunday february 2nd um what else i don't have anything to show you because i did show and tell at the end of that last video um i can show you this guy here because it was i had it all over social media this painting here it needs a second coat of resin um i know i had marked it um sold on instagram it's really not sold um I had, I saw a painting I fell in love with that um, Shelly Carruthers from Shelly Art um, had done uh, a video for. So I wrote to her and asked her, and she said, why don't we just do a paint swap? And I'm like, really? And she wanted one of mine. And so this is off to her as soon as it's ready. And then I get one of hers. And that's one. And then two, uh, we decided to do a video collaboration so look for that in the next week or so. Um, we've picked our colors and we're going to use her pouring medium and do flip cups, which are tough. I'm up for the challenge though. I got lucky, this was the, that, this one, I'm not gonna say it. Okay, I'll say it, this was on the first try. So we'll see what happens. I'll film that, obviously. That'll get filmed and come up. Um, and then Another huge, huge thank you. I got a care package yesterday in the mail from Christina Welch from Christina Welch Art, who sent me um, a huge sampling of her um, porridge posse paint. They're all shimmery, metallic-y, sparkly. They're gorgeous. I'm gonna try out these um, tonight. Um, on, I'm gonna paint three little things. Uh, and give these a go and I'll show you the colors. So thank you so much, Christina. Uh, and then she had a card in the box, but before I saw the card, I saw a box within a box, like a little box. And I opened up the little box and it was a ring and it looked like a wedding band. So I was all like, is she proposing to me? Like what's going on? <laughs> like this is the craziest proposal and we've never met. I'm not a mail order bride. What's this about? <laughs> it's, that's how my brain works. Um, and then I read the card and she found a ring and she said it made her think of me. And then I looked at the ring closer. It fits my thumb perfectly. Um, and if you've been a subscriber to my channel for any length of time, you know one of my favorite t-shirts to wear when I paint is uh, has a slogan on it that says, not today scene, not today. And that's what the ring says. So that's not coming off. It matches my other two. One is my um, love knot ring from my husband. The other one's my, my mom's wedding band, never to be removed. So anyway, thank you so much, Christina, for thinking of me. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, all right, enough of that. I'm gonna get you down on my little play toy. I've done one sample where I didn't use enough paint, so I need to redo it. And I'll show you what I'm doing. Cause it was fun. I was, it just it made me happy. It was so much fun. So this is my cake stand that I just got in the mail. I'll put the link. Um, I got it from Amazon and it is heavy, 
like it's substantial. It's not plastic, it is metal, and it has a nice weight to it, which I really like. Now I'm being overly cautious because I am painting in my kitchen and I was afraid to spin it and you know make a mess, hence the box. Um, even though the box is annoying me like crazy right now. Um, so I can maybe I put it up like this. Uh, so I did a little um, test on this five inch round and you can tell I barely had enough paint. And when I gave it a spin, I just kind of did this because I was chicken. Um, so I'm gonna try it again and see what happens and hopefully the centrifugal force of spinning will make the um, the lacing and everything after you blow all move out in all directions rather than you trying to tilt you know you tilt it one way and then you got to worry about the other side this way it disperses uh, evenly that's what we think and hope um, and so I'm gonna do it on this five inch round and then I have another wood round that I was too excited to even bother um, throwing a coat of kills looking for my measuring tape to see how what the uh, diameter is a seven inch round and then I'm gonna try it on a let me measure this too an eight by 16 canvas with three blooms on it oh by the way the cake stand when you get it it comes with like extras and I know this is all for icing cake, but I was like, oh, look at that for spreading paint, right? One of those. And then it came with three of these, which are like perfect resin spreaders. So I was like, this isn't for cake, this is for artists. <laughs> so pretty good deal. I'll put the Amazon link to this, if this all works out um, in the description. Now, I do want to say I was worried that this is going to fly off. I think I can really spin it without that, um, without that round moving. But as a precaution, I am using to hold down the canvas onto this plastic that I did, this came, it came this way. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to leave that on. As I'm using the Scotch removable mounting, that, it's the putty like you use on the wall or whatever to hang posters and whatnot. So I just put a couple little pieces of putty underneath because it's easy enough to remove and reuse too, which is nice, um, to adhere that to the top of that turntable. Okay, what else? Colors. Um, I have three of Christina's colors. We have this gorgeous, whoops, we have this gorgeous chestnut bronze, not pretty. We also have, um, what, oh, I can't reach it. Ugh. Sleeping Beauty um, Turquoise Shimmer. Gorgeous, right? And then we are using one tube uh, paint, Artist Loft Metallic Orange. And then I think probably the best shade of yellow I have ever seen. It's not lemon, it's not too lemony. It's brighter and happier than Naples Yellow, but it's not that like, you know, eyes of a thousand suns yellow and it doesn't have any orange in it it's like the perfect shade of yellow so this is christina's laguna shimmer love i think this is my favorite color that she sent me today because you know it's me i'll change my mind tomorrow all right enough talking so i'm just going to redo this one because i didn't put enough paint um i gotta make sure let me throw in some gloves I need to be sure I can pick it up. I don't know how well that putty is holding. And then um, add some paint, blow it out, and we'll put it on there and we'll give it a spin. And we'll see uh, if this works. I cannot take credit um, for this idea. One of the gals in um, the Shelly Art Pouring Group uh, posted pics where she had used a turntable. And for the life of me, I can't remember her name and I didn't uh, have a second to go and research through all the posts looking for it. Um, but thank you, whoever you are. She'll, I'll find her when I post the picture, pictures to that Facebook group. All right, so let me see, make sure I can uh, lift this up. 
off the turntable easy enough. Yep. Yeah, so the um, putty just sticks just enough. So we'll leave that there. And we'll go ahead and uh, try bloom. So, yeah, I didn't have enough paint. I was in total chicken mode. So a little more paint this time. My sides are taped, so I only have a lip to worry about. And let's start with bronze. The recipe and everything um, will come up on the screen on, on how I mixed. Same with the house paint. It's my usual glid and essentials though with uh, a little bit of gack. And then let's go, I don't know, blue, orange, yellow. Let's do a little bit of blue. And I think I have just enough of the black um, cell activator from the last pour to do these, because you don't really need a lot. There's the orange, this is all running away. And then the yellow. Gorgeous, gorgeous shade of yellow. Oh my gosh, love that. Lots of yellow, because I like it. All right, and then the, let me uh, recenter this kind of get back in the middle and then the black cell activator I want to see how much um, splatters in the in the box too because if I don't need the box I'll be happy to get rid of it it's a really good box too for shipping it fits a perfect 16 by 16 and it's not too deep so all right, I know you won't be able to see. I'm just gonna pick this up and blow a second. And I just blew directly down into that black. And I did kind of a terrible job. That's all right though. We just wanna see what happens. See, I blew too hard where that white is. But that's okay. We're just going to wait a second. Let that all suck up. I can always scrape it and do it again. I'm just dying to see if it works with enough paint on my substrate. Because if it works, that'll be kind of cool and awesome. You see, you can kind of, if you stare at it long enough, you can see it all pulling back into the middle there. All right. I'm not gonna go real hard. Ready? Yeah, some of the paint is flinging off. So probably good that I have a box. And let me keep going. Yeah, the paint is, yep, glad I have the box. See, it does disperse evenly, though. Really does. I'm getting dizzy watching it. It's like being at the fair. Wow. All right, let me give this a tilt. So make sure tilting that much easier because it all, a lot of it has already made it to the edges. So. Let me go over this way. I don't like this one already. It was totally my bad and when I blew, blew it out. So I think I'm good. this is gonna be a do-over for sure. Oh my gosh, it just makes tilting so much easier. Check it out. Right? I totally screwed that up, so I'm gonna do it again. Let me get a stick and kind of scrape it, or can I just leave it in the middle? How much, how deep is it? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. We're gonna go again. Oh no, you know why? Because it started to slide off. I am gonna scrape it. 
Bye bye. Oh, it was thin, Karen. Oh well. It was pretty thin. So this might be my little spinning box. I might have to cut off this one uh, top that's poking me kind of in my way. All right. Take two. Let's try this again. Do a better job. All right, let's go. I did like the bronze at the bottom. Just a little bit this time, Karen. Let's do yellow to change up the order. That glob. What are you? Whatever you are, go away. Oh, I did yellow. What am I doing? Blue. Turquoise. Oh my gosh, I have to cut off this one part of the box. It's driving me nuts. All right. Black. You hear that? I'm sorry. That's got to be annoying. It's driving me crazy. All right, let me try to blow this out better. I wish I could get close enough so you guys could see. Let me put it back in the middle. All right. All right, there, I did a much, much better job that time. Let me set that down, let everything puddle. And while that's puddling, you know, fast forward now because I'm gonna take my gloves off and grab some scissors and cut off this one uh, part of the box because it's making it really hard for me to reach. Hopefully my scissors can cut through this. I just realized if I cut it, the pink could fly out toward me. Hmm. Well, see, and the box is really shallow, so I, it's not like I can tuck it down underneath. Um, what can I do about it? Can I bend it? How about if I score it? I gotta do something. Ooh, I have an idea. Hold on a second. How is that gonna stay? Will you stay? Plus, there. Okay. Temporarily fixed. Grab some gloves. Give it a spin. to grab another box of gloves. Uh, these are the ones I hate. They're too big. Oh, so well. All right. Look at that, though. All right, ready? Nothing too fast or crazy. One more time. 
Sometimes a better spin. The paint is like, what the hell just happened? Check it out, y'all. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? Ah, really happy. I just realized my uh, pendant lights are on. I don't even know if you need to tilt this. Like really, I am just a little, just to see, you know, a little bit that way. Come back. It's moving nice and slow, so you know you got a lot of the paint off of it. A little off there, bring it back. Don't make it all wonky. I'll take that edge off that you made all wonky. Bring it back. I'm going to come straight toward me a second. Just because I want to get the tips off. There we go. Ta da! <gasps> Isn't that fun? All right, let me find a place to put him because I don't have uh, my tarp down. I just have this box. So you just sit there a second. I'll get a little cookie cutter. And paper towel. Move him. I'll I'll do close ups at the end of all of these. Some of that off. Beautiful. All right. So next up, we're going to go bigger. So now we have a seven inch round to try. Um, I don't think I need the uh, that putty. I think, play, particularly when you have paint. No, I have taped the bottom of my um, of my uh, thing. So I think this just kind of sticks to it, honest to God. It really does. We'll see, if it flies off, then we'll know. I think you'd have to spin it pretty dang hard to get it to fly off. All right, so much bigger puddle. Maybe a little more in the middle here. Oh, you know what? All right, do that. I do have another shade of a color um, that I didn't show you guys. I just realized I forgot, which is gorgeous, gorgeous. My second favorite from Christina. It's called Nate's Stormy Weather. It's this color, it's like, a Payne's gray, but three shades lighter. Stunning. So I'm gonna use Nate's Stormy Weather instead of the uh, that uh, bronze color. And give this a mix. So I'm gonna go with that first. And we'll do two, two spoons full. Like that. And then we're gonna go with the turquoise. I probably should have done three, two, one with my paint, but oh well. That's like two and a half. Orange, yellow, yellow, orange. I'm gonna do orange. about the yellow and black that can make a funky shade you know that oogie color I don't even know what you call it we'll see what happens some cell activator I 
And I'm just going to blow straight in the middle. I'm not going to try to blow out petals or anything. He's got, I'm gonna put my hair up or in my uh, headband. I'm gonna stick my. Now that these are getting bigger. All right, I'll forgo gloves for the sec for a second. Let's give this a blow. decent job right there so I'll put that down why they collect in the middle and then we'll give that a spin let me wipe off my fingers This is so much fun, y'all. So much fun. Oh my gosh. Just, I wish, I wish you all were here. This is one I should have uh, opened up a bottle of wine. Honest to God. This is just so much fun. I think maybe I will uh, for the live pour. That's what I'll do. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of these gloves. Let me use up these gloves that are way, way too big for me. All right, ready? I'm going to put my little lid up. You can't see that part, but I am. And... Oh, that was a bad spin, Karen. There we go. And there's the paint flying around. Ooh, the paint's flying. One more. Oh, that was lame. Hold on. Yeah, it really helps that the cake stand. I'm sure people use Lazy Susans and a whole bunch of other things. I like the cake stand because it's up high. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. Check it out. Hold on, let me put the, my little thing down. Oh, look at this. I haven't even tilted yet. Look at that. Well, you know I'm going to take off the white here, right? So we got to go this way. And I think, I, once again, I barely used enough paint. i got to remember to add a little bit of paint for the spinning, I think. You need a little bit more than what uh, you normally would do. Because you're spinning it off. Yep, oh my gosh, that was so pretty too. But look, see like the, the white edges and everything? Not enough paint. Oh, it was turning out so great too. I wonder if I could save it. See, nope, that's down to the wood. And see how it's um, getting little baby cells on the edge where it's real thin. Ah, one last look. We're gonna we're gonna have to do this one over too. Love the fall colors of that though. So cool. All right, my bad. Learning, learning, learn from my mistakes, y'all. Uh, I've had enough for the. Uh, the other one, I might not. All right, I'm gonna get within an inch of the uh, circle. There we go. All right, take two. Come here, Stormy.
stormy. Plenty of yellow. I'll put blue on top this time. Just in the interest of time, because it's getting later here, and I'm, I am making a bunch of noise. Uh, I think I'll do another, the other seven inch round I have, and uh, I'll do another video where we do some squares and rectangles, because that'll be interesting to see how that works. Oops. go again. Oh yeah, I should go out a little more. I'm gonna go out in this one spot. Anywhere else? No, we're not. Yeah, see it's really, um, if you have the, the bottom of your substrate uh, taped, it'll stick to the, uh, see it's like, it sticks to it. All right, let me put my uh, my little lid up. And maybe not spin so much. Maybe I spin, um, spun it last time so much that it got really thin. And this is nearly covered, so I'm going to stop it. I just love how it evenly spreads out the cells. And I think this one, let me hold this up there. All right, I'm just going to go a little bit in these two directions, and that's all I'm going to have to do, right? I like seeing the orange, yellow, and blue. I kind of want to keep that. And then bring it down the other way. Yep, I think there is definitely a danger of overspinning um, because you lose your paint on the edges. See, like that. So I'm glad I stopped it when I did and I can touch up this. See, if I go one way, I get the white. If I go the other, I get the white. So I'm just going to that edge is easier to, to touch up. So I'm gonna go this way, get rid of that white, and then leave it like that, and I'll just add the blue paint to the side there. But there you go. So that's number two. Let me see what I can do about the edges for the third one. The third one, let's get fancy, and I'm gonna do two blooms. So let me get another cookie cutter, put him away. Two. A little paper towel. 
you come with me. These are awesome. I'm going to wipe that off the bottom there. Alright, the last one I haven't even taped up. Hmm. It still has a sticker. Or should I try to do the big one? I don't have enough house paint to do a big one. Hold on one sec. Oh, you know what I have? Let's go square. I have a tile. Tile. <laughs> and I don't really think it's going to fly off because I'm just not spinning hard enough or fast enough. So let's try it, something square. This will be the last one. All right. And let's go. I like the bronze. Let's go bronze. The blue. Oh, I was gonna do two blooms. I'll save that for the next time because I, I have that six by 14 canvas. I have three of them actually um, to try it on. So that's an awfully big uh, puddle you got there, Karen. Awfully big. Oops, you blew that wrong. Let me spin it around. Yeah, that was a hot mess of my part right there. He did a terrible job. I uh, lost my grip when I was blowing, so. What are you gonna do? Look, um, for the most part, the black and the yellow are playing really nicely together. All right. Another glove to spin. One of those cheapy gloves. Last one. Put this up. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, so. Especially on the square. Let's see how big we can get the cells. There, that was a good spin. The paint's flying. Dang. Oh my gosh, I just stuck my hand inside a glove with paint. I'm just gonna go with dirty hands. Let's 
see I love this one this might be my favorite because it's not symmetrical <laughs> she gets a tool to make things have symmetry and then complains when they are <laughs> check it out <laughs> so crazy oh my gosh and it's taking some of these cells there's a ton right there and take some of them off And then bring it back. Yeah, see the right amount of paint too. I didn't get anything on the edges. That's like damn near perfect. Just like that. Ta-da! Um, I'm gonna bring over the other two, oops, <laughs> to show you. So there's the third one. Pretty cool. Bring over the second one. Let me just pick this whole guy up. Ugh, it is kind of heavy, which is awesome. Sit him there a second. Here's number two. I've got to fix the edge there with the blue, but really super pretty. And then one that kicked it all off, the little five inch round. Can you see it? I don't want to drip into the other one. Pretty awesome, don't fall, don't drop it. Where am I? Let me take off my headband. <laughs> 42 minutes, that was worth it. I'm sorry, it's worth it. I'm gonna try to get this video up tonight, late night, so you guys sort of kind of have a twofer. And, uh, I'll show you the dried results next time. And uh, yeah, thanks for the love and support. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.